us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In this Eucharistic celebration, my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to pray for our personal intentions. We pray for our uh, healing requests to our Lord Jesus Christ, especially those who are suffering from different illnesses with us here and those who are online with us via live streaming. Join with us as we pray for each one of you. We also include in this Eucharistic celebration our brothers and sisters who are sick, who are now confined in their respective homes and in the hospitals. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal Observances through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth, from the city of Tyrtira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let the response be, The Lord takes delight in His people. The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Please all stand. Spirit of truth will 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify me, and you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In final discourse with the apostles at the Last Supper, the Gospel is the very context of the dialogue. Jesus assured that he would not desert them. Instead, powerful divine helper, which is the Holy Spirit, would come to them from Jesus and the Father in order to guide them and to strengthen them. The role of the Holy Spirit as the outline in today's gospel, let us remember first as the counselor or the paraclete or to say an advocate. The Holy Spirit would coach, defend, and strengthen the apostles in their sufferings and persecution and would guide them during their trials before the civil authority. Secondly, as the Spirit of Truth, as we heard in the antiphon of the Gospel, saying, the Spirit of Truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and he also will testify. He would bear witness to Jesus and enable the apostles to bear witness to Christ heroically before the pagans. The Holy Spirit would give them an experiential knowledge of Jesus and an in-depth knowledge of Jesus' teaching. That is the reason why in our prayer, we also ask the, and we uh, invoke the Holy Spirit. Even in our personal prayer, we have to pray and invoke the Holy Spirit so that God will give us His strength, perseverance in facing our trials in life through the Holy Spirit. As the Divine Advocate, the Holy Spirit living within us continues to help us bear witness to Christ by assisting us to live transparent Christian lives. If we do things on our own without asking guidance from Jesus through the Holy Spirit, it is very difficult to continue and to ask God's love and patience. But if the Holy Spirit is always with us, God will continue His help to all our endeavors. Lastly, as the divine teacher, the Holy Spirit, through our daily study of the Bible or through our devotion and prayers, helps us to know Jesus thoroughly, to love Him personally, and to express Him intimately so that we may live the ideals of Christ and convey to others through our genuine Christian lives. Prayer is our life. Prayer is our communication to Jesus, asking Him 
to strengthen our faith, to strengthen our belief through the Holy Spirit is the very source of our prayer. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause, for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun and Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who shall not the highest. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, the College of Bishop, and all the clergy, all religious men and women, and all the faithful who pray in your who pray in your name. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior is commanded and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. is the our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the school to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the Sikh and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Liba. Thank you for your offerings. kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are plead to renew by your eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together. Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietral China, Outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that we concede. Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain. In God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel, that we may reflect and believe. 
Our requests are before Thee. Our heart repents, resolving earnestly to nasid again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated from some announcement. Una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pampansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Hindi na mga gawain para sa pagdiriwang ng karawan ni Santo Padre Pio at sa pakikipagtulungan ng SALT o St. Thomas More Association of Lawyers for Transformation. Tayo po ay magkakaroon ng free legal consultations sa darating na May 19, araw ng linggo, sa Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Sa mga nagnanais kumonsulta, kayo po ay magpalista na sa opisina ng parokya. Ikaapat, sa darating na June 15, ay magkakaroon tayo ng First Holy Communion para sa mga batang grade 4 at sa mga nagnanais makatanggap ng komunyon, kayo po ay makipag-ugnayan sa opisina ng parokya para sa mga detalye. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Maraming niyo po ilabas ang mga pababasbasan. O Lord God, You are the source of all blessings and grace. Pour out Your blessing on those instruments of prayer that remind us of Your goodness holiness and love to us, so that all who came and pray through them may receive your mercy and grace. Through them, help the faithful imitate the holiness and teaching of the Lord and the saints forever. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bago ang huling pagbabasbas, thank you very much uh, for coming and joining with us, praying together as one family of Christ for all our thanksgiving, our prayer requests. Thank you also for those who are with us through uh, online streaming. And thank you to those uh, people and ministries who serve in this Eucharistic celebration, our uh, lecture and commentator choir. Thank you very much to our lay ministers and the collectors. And all of you, thank you. Hopefully, ano man ang ating mga gawain, pagkataas ng misa, gabayan pa kayo ng Panginoon, lalo na sa inyong pag-uwi. Sana ligtas kayo makarating sa inyong mga tahanan, basbasan ang inyong kalusugan, ang inyong mga hanap buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Heaven rejoice, for He is risen. Rise up, for Savior is He. Jesus, the Lord of all.